Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy. In today's lesson, we're doing the jam session classic, Softly as in a Morning Sunrise. Now, you could head to any jazz jam session in the world and be able to play this tune or hear it being played. This is a great song to learn and play at jam sessions because you can take it at a number of different levels. For the beginner version, we're going to be focusing on the melody. We'll be taking it a little bit slower at around 120 BPM, and I've not put any decorations or variations to the melody so you can learn it really clearly. You can also get the free PDF of this melody and the link to that is down below. Now because this is a great song to play at jam sessions, it's a great one to memorise. Knowing the structure of the tune will really help you memorise it and make it a lot easier. You can divide up this song into the classic A-A-B-A -A -A structure, which basically means the first eight measures gets repeated with a very slight variation at the end of the second A, before going into that middle B section and finishing with the A section again. So essentially, once you've learned the A section, you've learned three quarters of the tune. Now we're doing this in the standard key that you hear this played all the time at jam sessions, which is C minor, which puts the alto saxes into A minor and the tenor saxes into D minor. Now, once you've learned this basic melody, you don't have to play it in the same way every time. And you'll see for the intermediate and advanced level versions, I've put different variations of the melody in. And if you want to practice playing your own variations of the melody, then premium members at Online Sax Academy can also download a backing track for this tune. All right, so to get started, here's that beginner version melody. So moving on to the intermediate version, this is where I'm going to start to vary the melody a little bit. And you'll see how I've changed some of the rhythms slightly, like for example the second note bringing it an eighth note earlier, or adding in little grace notes to approach into notes. And adding in just a few of these can really create an interesting variation. And this is also kind of part of the improvisation process. It's not just about getting through the melody so you can get to your solo, but the way you can shape the melody and add in these decorations spontaneously when you're playing the melody gives it that more alive and spontaneous sound. If you are learning how to improvise, then you can have a look through and take some ideas and start to try and use them in your own solos. After playing the melody once, we then go into the solo section. For those of you that are new at improvising, I'd recommend improvising just over the first two A sections. You can try using the minor pentatonic scale and putting things into two measure phrases. Over at Online Tax Academy, I have a learn to improvise course that steps you through right from the very beginning and teaches you with this same scale how to start to build your own two measure phrases. And that learn to improvise course and all the other materials on the website are available for premium members. So if you'd like to become a premium member or learn more about what's on offer, just click the Go Premium button on the site. Now, after soloing through the first two A sections and the B section, I come back to the melody again for the final A. And there's also a very common trick that you'll hear all the time at jam sessions, which is I'm repeating the last two measures three times in a row. And that's a really typical way you'll hear a tune like this being finished. All right, so let's give it a try.
Okay, and finally for the advanced version, we're gonna take up the speed quite a bit to 180 BPM. Now there's some more adventurous harmonic and rhythmic ideas in here, which is definitely gonna make it more challenging to play. But remember, you can always use YouTube's playback speed settings to slow this down at first to get used to those phrases. And as ever, lots of listening to it before you play to get a kind of clear template in your mind is gonna really help you too. All right, so here's the advanced version. So remember to get the free PDF for the beginner version and the link to that is down below. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future lessons and I'll see you guys next week.